This is Pamela and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel and welcome to my yarn room that I have for now. <laughs> it will be changing in about a week or so. <laughs> anyway, uh, so today's video, I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. Um, let's see. The stitch of the week. I've been working on that. I actually have um, three stitches, but two of them are actually recorded and then I moved my um, tutorial little area over to my new home today, or it's being moved today. And uh, so I haven't done the tutorial on this one, but this stitch right here is called the Elegant Stitch. And you take this off, because really the front side is a lot like the back side, but anyway, isn't that pretty? And then here's the other side. I'm really liking this stitch and I think you guys are going to like it as well. Yeah, it's called the Elegant Stitch. Now that's the one I'm going to record um, in the new house. And let me just throw it in my basket of stitches. <laughs> uh, this hole in the wall. This is the another one that I have. And I think this one, gosh, I, I think this one may be going out today or went out this morning, I'm not sure exactly because i filmed these in advance uh because i'm getting ready to get married and go on a honeymoon and things like that Ooh, i gotta sell on etsy <laughs> thank you whoever you are for purchasing my pattern um but yeah that's hole in the wall that will be coming out and the next one is the cute clusters i am having so much fun with these stitches and i hope you guys are too like I said, it is really teaching me a lot. It is making me design patterns so much better. This one is called the Cute Clusters. And I believe this is done with a either a 4.5 or a 5 millimeter and a medium full weight yarn. So um, these little clusters won't look as big as they are here, like in a smaller yarn and stuff. But there's the back side of it. And I totally enjoyed this one as well. I just don't know what to make with it yet. But I really like it. I think I'm going to, since it has uh, so many single crochet rows between, I think that I can incorporate this with other stitches. So I really like that one. It's called the Cute Clusters. So that, guys, I have been working on. And I have a few things with Hobie. Oh, and then... My um, crochet um, pattern that's in the magazine. I've got to get that topped up today, guys. I still haven't done that. I've got to get it topped up. Um, Hobie, I've been working with them. And this is their Candyland Christmas thing. This is one of the things. It's a placemat. Isn't it beautiful, guys? Look at that. I love it. I tell you what, this stitch right here. It's probably going to be my all-time favorite stitch ever. And it has little Pico stitches on the top. But it's just, there's just something about this stitch that I just love. I think it'd be perfect for kitchenware items and things. So I have tons of ideas of things that I'm going to be making upcoming um, with this stitch. That's how much I love that. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, yeah, uh, for the table runner, I'm using, oh, yeah, I'm using Friends uh, Cotton 8.8 for this. And this color red is 40. It's a good Christmas color. And the green is 111, in case you're interested in these Christmas colors. Because, oh, and I will leave a link below for you guys um, if you want to purchase this yarn. I think it's a perfect good Christmas color. Um, for this table runner, I'm using, I think it's a five. It should be a five. No, it's a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And, um, let me put that hook down. Oops. All right. Here's the part of the table runner that's going to go with the placemats. 
So on the end, there will be tassels. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. That's going to be the table runner. Yep, and I'm going to make two pieces and join them in the middle. And this here will be the end right there. <laughs> it's gonna have little tassels on it. And like I said, I'm excited about this one. This one is, um, let's see, what was the name of the stitch on that one? Hold on, I've got my book of stitches or a uh, bat, no, basket of stitches. Get it right here. Okay, it's called the Shell Cluster Ripple Stitch is what that's called that I'm using <laughs> for the table runner. <laughs> All right, so um, let me move this stuff out of my way real quick. And I'm going to, as I'm moving that, I'm going to try and talk at the same time. And I want to show you guys the blanket, which I will be working on today once I get through filming here and I get my editing and stuff done, then I'm working on the blanket for you guys. This, I'm using this Mega Ball yarn as my border, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, and um, I've already started the tutorial for this. I need to double check my iPad, make sure I still have it <laughs> before I get too far. But, um, let me move this out of the way, here we go. So this is what I've gotten so far. We are just half double crocheting around the edge. And so I am going to be working on that today. Here we go. There it is. So that's the start of it. This pretty rose color. I'm excited about this color. I love this color. <laughs> and then the next color is going to be more of a raspberry. Let's see, do I not have it here? Hmm. Okay, it's over there. but. It's more of a raspberry color that's coming after this color. And so um, I think it's going to end with a beautiful uh, spring garden top earthy top colors. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so that's all that I have. I was just going to wanted to update you guys. I'm excited about all these projects and I'm excited that you are enjoying checking these out. I hope that I'm giving you some wonderful and great ideas and um, I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to the Christmas project. That's the hashtag Hobie Candyland project. Uh, the next one coming up is uh, the co uh, cozy, cozy something, but I'm making a blanket. So I'm super excited about that. And I'll be doing some unboxing and stuff on that. And I got another package in yesterday. So that's going to be a spring one. So I have like three here in a row. Super excited about them. And I hope you guys are too. And the patterns for these that I'm designing for Hobie will be on their website. Yes, I will finally have a pattern on their website. I was supposed to have a Valentine one, my little purse, and um, I'm not sure what happened. So I've got to, I think I never submitted it. I think I've got it typed in, but um, yeah, I've got to go back and do that. <laughs> anyway, so my goal today is to get this video edited, uh, work on the crochet foundry uh, pattern since my testers have all come back. Um, telling me their ideas and, you know, um, things like that. So I've got to get that put in there. And um, let's see. And this blanket. I want to work on this blanket. And then if I have time and I get tired of working on that, I'm going to work on the placemat, I mean, the table runner. So, and I'm very excited about the placemat. I can't wait to have that on my table this winter. It's going to be so pretty. I think I'm going to make like six of them. If I have enough yarn for six, I hope I do. <laughs> That's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.